I am Dr. Eric White. I'm in private practice in San Diego, California. I've been in private practice for 28 years. I graduated in 1986 from Southern California College of Optometry. My passion in life is helping people. I have fun every day. I don't even practice anymore. I play all day long because I truly believe that optometry is such a gift that we can help people see better. And one of the things that I'm going to talk to you all about today is doctor-driven dispensing. Because when I started doing that a few years ago, everything became even more fun. The practice grew, my patients are happier, my staff is elated. When I think of how to define doctor-driven dispensing, the easiest way to think about it it is, I am prescribing in the exam chair what my patient needs. And when you prescribe it, they're more apt to get it because they, they know that I'm the doctor and I'm prescribing it. Before doctor-driven dispensing, a lot of times what we did, I would just go out and I would pick one of the opticians and say, tag, you're it figure out what the patient needs and walk away. The problem is our, our percentage of sales are just patient satisfaction was okay. All the surveys show that the patient is dissatisfied with a lot of the practices they go to because they don't feel they're being told what they truly need. The difference with doctor-driven dispensing is in the exam chair. What I do is I pull the frofter away and I tell them, I am prescribing Verilux because we believe in Verilux. I am prescribing the Physio Enhance because the Physio Enhance is the most optically pure progressive. I want you to have a, a digital pair of glasses, not an analog. Also uh, prescribe a lot of contact lenses this way because I'll say, you know, I notice that you wear glasses most of the time. Would you be interested in getting a pair of daily disposable contact lenses for when you're going to the gym, going to play softball, going on a date with your spouse? By doctor-driven dispensing, I feel I am helping the patient get exactly what they need to make their lifestyle better. By taking literally a minute or two, the patient knows right off the bat what they need and you can explain why they need it and if they have any questions, they'll, they'll question you. So by doing that, they're going to be more apt to get what you say. Because when the, the patient leaves the office, they are happy because they know that the doctor, that I listen to them and I prescribed for them exactly what they need. Because a lot of times when you don't do doctor-driven dispensing and you just hand them off, the patient kind of wonders in the back of their head, am I getting what is best for me or am I getting what is best for the, that the staff thinks I need? Our digital sales, we're at 95% digital. Uh, the, our no glare, we're 90 plus percent no glare. Uh, transition, we're 40 plus transition. We, we're doing that because I believe in the product, my staff believes in the product, but that's the secret with doctor-driven dispensing. A lot of you are going into new practices. You, if you have this secret down, you're going to help the senior doctor because most of them don't know about this. You're going to help them because you're going to show them how easy it is. You're going to win the staff over, but also you're going to bring more value to the practice and that will help you for the future. During pretest and everything, if a staff says, oh, such and such not in a good mood, I will go above and beyond to make them laugh, get them in a good mood, and I do this all the time. The doctor needs to be in a good mood because we're the captain of our ship. If we're in a bad mood, it's gonna put the whole staff in a bad mood. But if we're in a good mood, it will trickle down and your patient will be in a good mood. I've set my retirement date. I'm going to retire on December 31st, 2040. I'm going to be, I might be in my walker, but I'm going to be still practicing.